Hey guys, and welcome to a series that I haven't done in so long. Like, oh my god, it's been maybe a year since I've done this series, but I decided to bring it back because it was so much fun. Um, if you guys were with me when I was currently doing the series, uh, this series is called Fake Card Friday, where every Friday I look at a card on Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Maker Forms, and, you know, I go over it and I talk about it and see whether it's good enough to be a real Yu-Gi-Oh! card, or if it's just so broken and stupid that, uh, you know, we try to wonder what the person was thinking when they created this card. So, uh, if you guys remember this series, there was actually other series that went along with it. I think it was like, uh, Ban That Shit Saturday and Side Deck Sunday, but I'm not going to be doing those series because those series weren't as interesting as this one. This was probably my favorite out of them all. And I said, hey, why not bring it back? So, hopefully you guys enjoy this little mini-series every Friday, and I will go ahead and get started. So, as you can see, this card, it looks kind of like Grunix, except just, you know, crazier. You might not be able to see the name. But I'm going to go over the card with you guys. So this card is called, you ready for this? Fire King Mermail Atlantean Supreme Avatar Garunix Elemental Dragon. Yeah. Whoever made this card, so creative. Look, where, did, where did you come up with those names from? It is a fire. It's supposed to be an XC monster. This says rank 12 XC, but yeah, there's no, <laughs> uh, it's not black. It's obviously an effect monster by the picture, but no. The Kratos card says an XE monster, rank 12, dragon, XE effect. It's made with two or more seven or higher monsters. Okay, that's weird. So, pretty much dragon rulers could make this card, or harpies, or whatever. Let's go ahead and look at the effect. Oh, well, 3000 attack, 200D. I guess. <laughs> so, I guess you can bring it back with, uh, with uh, rekindling. <laughs> this card says this card is also a water attribute, so it's a dual type. So pretty much, if you uh, have uh, what's the card I'm trying to think of, goes in match, and uh, your opponent summons this card, it's dead automatically because it's also it's the same thing with light and darkness dragon, where it's also treated as light and dark. So this card is also treated as fire and water, I guess. <laughs> Once per turn, if this card is in your extra deck or graveyard, you can special summon this card, then banish a total of two fire and or water dragon type monsters from your hand or graveyard, except for this card. So pretty much, if you got two fires or two waters or either combination of the sort, you can just banish those and summon this guy. So that's the dragon ruler effect, obviously. Uh, the effect of this card, because I really don't feel like saying its own time name, I'll post the effect in the description. It can only be used once per turn and only once that turn. So, pretty much, uh, if you use the effect to summon it, you can't use its other effects. I guess. <laughs> uh, once per turn, you can special summon one fire or water monster from your graveyard, except dragon monsters or this card. Then detach one XC material from this card. Um, how was it summoned with XC materials? Well, I guess if you use the effect to summon it, it won't have any XC materials, but if you actually summon it through the succeed methods, I keep on forgetting it's an XC monster because it doesn't look like it. It's not, you know, it doesn't have the black border. Like I said, this is straight off, uh, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh card maker form, so I'm just taking the picture and putting it inside the video, so, yep. Um, so, you can special summon a fire or water monster from your grave, except for dragons and except for this card by detaching XC material. And uh, then he says that the effects can only be used once per turn, uh, obviously. You don't need to restate that. Once per turn during the end phase, the turn was sent to the graveyard. You can special summon this card from your graveyard. Then you can send all other cards to the graveyard on the field. Okay, so that's not broke. So when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can summon it back. And uh, then you send all cards on the field. On the field to the graveyard. So that includes your opponent. Yeah, that, that's totally balanced. <laughs> and then he keeps on copy and pasting the same you can only use the effect of this card once per turn and only that turn so obviously it's supposed to be like a dragon ruler but you don't need to say that once you don't need to say it every single time you put down an effect that's the third time he's put that once per turn this card is banished you can special summon this card so pretty much this card is being summoned whether you like it or not you're getting it uh, the effect of this card can only be used once per turn. Oh, there's the fourth time. 
you can only use up to two of this card's effects per turn and only twice per that. But you just said, oh my god, this card. You said that it can only be used once per turn, but then you turn around and say you can only use it two twice per turn. Alright. So pretty much this card is stupid, it's broken, and it's 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 not even a good idea, you know? Like, there was no creativity put into this card. You pretty much just took Dragon Rulings of Fang, splashed in a little bit of dark, splashed in a little bit of, uh... I mean, not a little bit of dark, splashing a little bit of Dragon Rush, splashing a little bit of Gorinix, splashing a little bit of Remove from Play, because why not? I really don't see what a Merman Atlantean really came in on this card. And you think that it's a good card, you know? Uh, I guess the water is sort of being a part of Mermails, I guess? I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, it, this card's just a disaster. It's it's stupid. It's it's really bad, you know? I I just don't understand what they were thinking, you know. But I guess when the person says an XC monster and he doesn't even have the board of an XC monster, I guess that's what we can expect out of this card. So yeah, great. All right. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comments section below. Uh, I will leave its effect in the description, all the information about it. Uh, so if you guys uh, are new to the series. Uh, it's going to be in its own playlist, so you guys can go ahead and check out all the other fake cards. And I will, you know, try to keep this series up for as long as possible. Like I said, I got an entire week to go ahead and look on Yu-Gi-Oh! card forms and get more fake cards. And the funny thing is that I've actually been saving some cards, you know, putting them on the down low for when I was like, oh, when am I going to bring this series back? When I bring this series back, oh yeah, I'm going to talk about this card. So this one's been sitting here for a cute, cool minute. Uh, this person made this on... Uh, on September 3rd, 2013, so I've been holding on to this for a cool minute, just waiting to talk about it. So back when Dragon Rulers were still in their prime. So, yeah. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and give this video a like. And I will come back next Friday with another card. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this series. Thanks for watching.